Employee Appreciation Day here at the VMAC. So I want to give a shout out to the equipment staff, the strength staff, you know, the media crew, Eric Kennedy, Mo Kelly, you know, guys like that behind the scenes working hard for us. So we appreciate them. A lot of love. You know, hope they enjoy this day. What prompted that? Oh, there's burgers in the equipment staff room right now. <laughs> <laughs> You know, every game obviously is so important, but obviously going into the bye week after this, how important is it to get that little bit of momentum before you have a week off and get something going here? Yeah, no doubt. I mean, going into the bye week, you know, we have this game to focus on, um, all the energy we got, because we know we're going to get a rest after. So we know how seriously this game is in this, uh, this locker room. We're going to take it with a tremendous amount of pride and focus and, uh, you know, got to get a win. Um, you know, each win here out is going to be extremely important, you know, because, you know, the goal is to make the playoffs. So. Everyone counts now. You are facing a team for a second straight week that is coming off of their bye week. What challenge does that present when they've got two weeks to prepare for you? Yeah, I mean, you know, they're fresh, but, uh, you know, we're kind of in the thick of it right now. So the thing is, we got to focus on ourselves, right? They have a lot of time to prepare, so we got to know that um, they're going to be scheming stuff up. So we have to be ready to adapt. You know, they might come up with a unique game plan for us. So um, take the punches early. And then, you know, in the middle of the game, just don't panic. Keep focusing on ourselves um, and just go and find ways to win. You know, that's really all it comes down to. It doesn't matter if they have a bye week or not. We got to go out there and play on Sunday. Have you thought about what you'll say to Shaq, either in the game or before the game, when you have a chance to see him? There's got to be some Shaq. Oh, no doubt. And Hollister's over there. So we got to, there's a couple, couple Seahawks. Um, you know, Shotty's over there. So it's a lot of love. Um, you know, obviously, you know, this organization is a big family. So, um, when I see him, I imagine it'll be a lot of love early, and then when the you know the whistle blows, it'll be back to business and you know a little bit of smack talk, and we'll see how much we interact. But uh, it'll be a fun one. Uh, I'm sure they'll be excited to get home, you know, play in front of the 12s, kind of hear the. It'll probably be nice for Shaq, you know, a little bit quieter um, for his work. But uh, yeah, it'll be good to see those guys, you know, big smiles, big hugs, and then it'll be time to go to work. You mentioned the playoffs, Will. How big is that motivation, urgency for you right now? Yeah, I think uh, you have to do a good job of understanding what the end goal is and then playing in the moment, right? And, uh, you know, this organization takes a lot of pride in winning. Um, you know, our fan base, fan base puts a lot of effort into us, so, you know, we have to, you know, show up for them. So with that being said, the playoffs are in the picture, but it's all about one week at a time. And so knowing that, you know, every week is a playoff week, you know, once we get to playoffs, we're already in that m mindset. So that's the goal. But the, the goal right now is to go one and zero into this bye and uh, get things rolling. What's been different without Russell Wilson to the offense, either tangibly in the field, off, off the field intangibly? What, what's changed? What's different? Um, you know, Russ, the, the best thing I can say about Russ is how consistent he is. Um, you know, every time he's in a meeting room, he, he makes his presence felt, um, you know, with his thoughts, his ideas, how he sees coverage. And I think that helps the entire team. You know, he's not afraid to vocalize something. And it creates conversation, too. That's the beautiful thing, you know. Uh, he has a really, really high football IQ. He's played for a really long time, and so even though he's not out there on the football field, he's finding a way to help us, you know, you know, in the locker room, in the film session. So stuff like that, I think, is really picked up because that's all you can do. You know, you focus on what you can control, and his is, uh, you know, in the meeting room, creating conversations, seeing things to help us win. Well, well how, 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 you guys haven't been finishing games the way you guys expect to. Uh, that's a good question. I think. Uh, you know, every every football team we play, this is in college, every team we play is going to be a tremendous opponent. You know, they have, you know, they pay players to go make plays too. So I think it's on ourselves to, to find that way to, you know, be the guy to make the play to, to win the game, right? I think it's uh, has nothing to do with lulls or anything. It's just kind of the way the balls have gone. You know, there's been some mistakes made <laughs> that haven't gone our way. I mean, you can look at all games. We've been in most of them. And, uh, you know, 50-50 call here or there, you know, an explosive play here or there. And it's a, you know, a completely different ball game. So... I think, you know, you can't dwell on the past. You can't dwell on how we've done. We keep focusing. We keep, uh, you know, working every week to, to find a way to finish, to find, find a way to win games. And, and that's really our goal. So, you know, you can't look back. you got to move forward and, and be positive and, and go get some wins. Well, where, where do you find those fine margins to, to get across the finish line in those circumstances, the close games that you talked about to get it over the line? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, in any football game, right, if it's a one-score game, there's probably a handful of plays, you know, six to eight plays on either side of the ball that, that really make a difference. You know, here in our building, we talk a lot about turnovers. 
Um, you know, we've been really good on offense, not turning the ball over. And then on defense, it's, it's making sacks, creating negative plays to, to limit their points. And they've done a really good job holding teams to field goals. They played really well here in the past. So I think it's, it's finding a way to you know, merge the two, right? Offense and defense working collectively. And we can be a really great football team. You talked in the offseason about the high expectations for this tight end group, especially in Shane's offense. It seems like the production for you guys catching the football has been hit and miss these first several games. How have you felt with the adjustment under Waldron so far and uh, moving forward? Yeah, I mean, you know, going into the season, you always have high expectations, you know, especially myself, but there's a lot of different ways that we can help this football team win. So. You know, I think as the season goes on, you kind of have to adjust your roles, see what teams are doing against us to limit our opportunities. So, um, you know, like I said, it's kind of a week to week thing. You know, we don't really look at the big picture until the end. But, uh, you know, really, it's how can I help this team win? And, uh, you know, if it needs to be more catching the football, then, you know, that's what we'll do. If it needs to be running the football, then that's what we'll do. So you kind of have to, uh, you know, have a short memory. You know, you have high expectations. You want to get the ball. I want to be explosive for this team. But there's also a lot of different ways that we can help this team, you know, you know, pass blocking, run blocking, and uh, you know when we do get the ball, you know we've we've done a lot of really good things, a lot of explosive plays. So, you know, it's just finding a way to help this team win in any way, you know, because every snap really counts. DK was kind of going at it uh, with Marshawn Lattimore Monday night. That's been the case with a few defensive players. Why do you think uh, he's involved in a lot of those testy exchanges? Yeah, I mean, I think they know what kind of player DK is. You know, he brings a, a huge presence to our offense. Um, he's a tremendous mismatch, you know, for their defenses, and so they got to find a way to get an edge. And you know, if they think talking is the way to do it, you know, it might be a mistake, but uh, it doesn't really affect DK. You know, he's under control. He knows what he's doing. Um, he still goes out there and makes plays, scores touchdowns for us. So, um, if that's what they feel like they need to do is talk and not play, then that's kind of on them. Do you feel like it's opponents who are trying to to get under his skin as opposed to him instigating? Um, yeah, I can't say what what their goals are. Um, I can just say what I see out there on the field. But uh, yeah, I mean, it seems to be targeted towards DK. But you know, we're a group and we kind of fight together. So um, you know, he does a good job. Tremendous amount of poise. You can see that. You know, the back and forth um, last Sunday, where you know, you know, he got the other team got personal fouls against DK. You know, he was really poised and um, takes an incredibly strong mind to get that done because those uh, DBs are professional shit talkers for sure. What tangible effect do you feel when you're really beating a team with the running game versus when you're beating them with the throwing game? Yeah, I mean, I think we've had uh, a little bit of both, you know, throughout this season where we've had drives that have gone really smoothly due to, you know, a tremendous passing game. And, and then we've also had, you know, like the Pittsburgh, um, that, that opening drive um, out of the second half where it has been, you know, a huge run game. And I think that's the beauty of our offense um, is that we can do so much. Um, in the passing game and in the run game is that it doesn't really matter, right? It's uh, going out there and executing. I think um, that's our job is to go out there and limit the negative plays and just go out there and execute because we, we, we really are a great offense. We just got to go out there and put four quarters in. Well, I guess I should rephrase. Is there, do you feel a difference in the defense or you can feel you're physically imposing yourself on them when you're running it down there though versus when you are just throwing it all over them? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, personally, I mean, I love running the football. Um, it's what I'm really good at. And so there's nothing like, you know, taking another man, you know, imposing your will on him, moving him, you know, five yards off the spot. And you can, you know, put the tape on. Our line does a really good job of that. And then, you know, also at the same time, like scoring points efficiently through the air is also super fun. You know, it gets the crowd going. And then we kind of feed off that energy. But I think collectively it doesn't really matter. It's it's all, you know, we're teammates. And so whoever is doing well, whether it's AC running the ball or DK catching the ball, right, whoever's throwing it, you know, we feed off that energy. So if it's positive play, you know, we're going to feed off that regardless of, of what's going on in the series. Anything else, guys? Thanks, Will. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.